Hello everyone, right, so we're in Sanctuary to finally take a stab at those epic walls that I've been putting off for so long. This will be a two-parter, mainly because, well, it, it, it took a while. <laughs> I haven't actually finished yet. As I'm recording this audio, I've still got a third of the walls left to do, so I think I'd do this beach side section first, and then the other video, which will be up tomorrow, so I'll, I'll do my, my gameplay video eventually, um, will be... Yeah, it will be a bit more of a cut down one, so it'll be more just kind of build a bit, look what I did, build a bit, look what I did kind of thing, and then any little issues, because there are a few. Anyway, so I decided to start in this corner over here. Um, now, you guys who follow me on Twitter will have already seen some spoilers, because I posted some videos over the last two days on what I'd already built already. Looks pretty grand. Though I haven't posted any other it's only this little beat section of posted, so if you follow me on Twitter, there aren't any other big bits. I'll probably post them as I'm going along. So, you may notice where I've started now. There is going to be a little gap, for now, emphasis on for now, uh, between the gatehouse and the wall. Mainly because it's not really urgent right now. That's something I can plug up with pretty much anything. Um, and having that tower any closer would have looked a bit silly. Um, you know, I could even put another wall section in and just kind of, you know, rug glitch a small little connector in. Often what I've been using to plug up the gaps is I've embedded the chunkier of the fences, the ones with all the wee tires. I just plop that one in because it's a really good way of plugging up holes because it just looks like someone's just stacked a load of tires to, you know, fill up the hole. It looks pretty grand. Now right here, first Davy tip when you're doing this, um, is make sure you leave as much space. I mentioned this with Merc Warder, but when you're building the walls, make sure you leave some space in front of it, because it does make it really hard to put in any of the fences. Now, I nearly did that for this, but what I eventually doing is that I move the... and it actually looks better anyway, so I'd recommend doing your walls like this from now, now on. With the towers, have the wall connecting, the little platform at the top, have them connecting to the back square of the tower. You'll see in a second, because I realise, oh wait, that looks stupid. Um, just because it makes the tower stick out a little bit more. I'm tempted actually to give the towers a little bit more height too. Um, I won't do it now, and I haven't done it at all in this video, but I'm thinking of making them a little taller. I can eat aside. Also, as a note with this wall, is some sections... I've managed to keep it so it looks all good. It, will look, it looks grand if you've seen the video on Twitter. However, there are some sections like this part is probably the lowest side of the wall. Whereas on the beach, it's actually quite tall. And what I've done for periods where like it would get so the wall was even going to be even lower than this part. I've actually instead said, fuck having a wall there and it's going to be a building that will be... So we're going to actually have buildings inside the walls. Um, I do that for the other side of Sanctuary quite a bit. Because, for example, right at the back, there isn't much build area for you to use, so I couldn't... It's, it's kind of difficult to squeeze a wall in there, so the walls are actually connected and part of the buildings. I think it looks cooler as well. Because that way you have kind of what I'm calling set pieces of the walls. Now, I can't remember for the life of me whether I left those foundations in. I, I, I literally cannot remember. I think I left a few of them in. Can't, can't really remember, to be fair. I don't think I did. End up doing useful technique, um, and you'll see it when I do it, but basically once you've done these parts and then the top level of the actual wall, um, you can just put walls inside, and it's just a good way of just blocking up the holes. I do show you what I do in a, later down the line. This place turned out so grand, by the way. Oh, it's so good. Diamond City? Don't you mean Diamond Shitty? Ha 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 ha. Funny jokes, Davey. You've still got another 22 minutes left, people. <laughs> Um, now you may notice what I'm doing there. <laughs> that was lame. <laughs> um, the good thing about this wall, right, um, this section here was actually the hardest section of the entire wall because I'm adapting the techniques to Sanctuary with its uneven ground. And also the fact is that, as I said, with the last video, it's the first time I'd actually done it in completion. So it was all about kind of refining the technique. So as I go, like the final, sec the final section of this one, um, so this, the final the final part of this video, basically, I pretty much just kind of mastered the technique on how I do it. Um, and I actually enabled me to do the other ones quite swiftly. I wouldn't even say, see, look, I can just do giant sections like this. It's more about setting up the framework takes a while. But to be honest, once you've set the framework, you can literally just do entire sections. So if you think about that, if you, those of you, you know, saw the Twitter video, um, the section I showed you is pretty much probably two thirds in terms of the length of a normal size settlement. Like, you could probably surround 
Oberland with that wall, yeah? That took me a couple of hours. Okay, granted, you know, a fence would take me an hour. But still, it's not really that much longer. Look, see, you can just kind of squeeze the top levels in. Oh, you may notice as well is that I'm not using... I'm just sticking with wood. Um, and then the metal is going to be in the fences um, at the bottom. Just a personal preference, to be honest. Um, I wanted my fence pieces to be as... Blank as possible, basically. I wanted it to look like a giant fence, basically, rather than, you know. And also with the with the mixing up the metal, I found it was a bit a bit too patchwork looking. I wanted it to look a little bit more uniform. Now, some of you might argue, oh, but then it looks really samey. Uh, perhaps, ultimately, you know, Sanctuary is probably going to eventually, like, settlements are going to eventually look like that. Especially if you, most of the structures you see are built by the player, just because we don't have much colour. However, the good thing about this wall, because it's nice and flat, is as the sanctuary build goes on, we're going to be building things up the wall. I'm not going to... There will be a few instances where the wall will just be left untouched. But often... Let's go... <laughs> I kept picking up my uh, razor grain. But often there are going to be areas where we're going to have stuff on it. So eventually the, work, the wall will be covered in shit. Um, also, just forget, don't forget, we're getting the Wasteland Workshop DLC really freaking soon. Like, potentially a week or two? Because um, Mr. Maddie Plays um, had a video out the earlier today that someone uh, linked me on Twitter. Um, sorry, dude, can't remember who you are. Um, however, uh, he, he pointed out that when the, they leaked the achievements for the DLC, um, it, I think it was announced to come out like a week later or something like that, so we'll probably get it in a week or two, and hopefully maybe we'll get some more decoration items. Yes, I fucked up there. Badly. We end up redoing it, it's fine. It's all grand, you'll be okay. And I won't show you me redoing parts, <laughs> don't worry. Um, so yeah, hopefully. That's why I left the walls quite blank. I wanted the height, and I wanted them to look good, but they're eventually gonna... No section of wall will look the same, but often we have to build the wall first. Okay, so calm down. So I always get those people who like to point out, but Davy, <laughs> that doesn't look right. You should do this. I'm like, well, you should fuck off, yeah? It's my wall. I do what I want. Bugger off, yeah? So this was a bit of a, a bit of a knobhead. I think I eventually just decide, fuck it, and stop recording and not show you, because fuck that. Now, when you're doing the little corners like it, it's really straightforward, right? All you need to do is just get a foundation, because obviously you need to have the bends in the wall, um, and there will be gaps in between it, but don't worry, again, David makes it look good, trust in me. Um, it's just literally just use a foundation, get it as close as you can, angle it to the direction you want it to go, find the correct wall piece, and Bob's your uncle, son. And that's what you do, and that's it. It's this wall, oh, this wall. Fuck Diamond City, yeah. This is going to be so much better. <laughs> Especially when we get our giant big pit thing with all the Thunderdome. Robo Thunderdome, but with Death Claws as well. I'll get on a rant, yeah, because so, I, I watched, um, and also this part's a little bit boring. Um, I watched uh, Mr. Matty Play's video. And some of the achievements, like there's one, it's, I can't remember the names of the national have prepared this. <laughs> He's much better at that news side than me. Um, but basically, um, you can get, you, you tame animals and you can have them wandering around your settlements. So I think, yeah. And apparently the, the creature in the thumb, the pic in the achievement picture is a death claw. So we're going to have pet death claws. Not, not, not cage death claws. Potentially Mr. Bigglesworth, the death claw, or something equally cute, but also slightly disturbing. That's gonna be so good. Oh, I hope we can, like, give them accessories. I doubt we can. I just want a top hat, you know? Give them a trigger man bowler or something like that. It'll be amazing. Anyway, yeah, making walls. Exciting stuff. It gets a little bit more exciting, because I'm, what I do for the later videos is I don't show you the entire process. So I, I don't even know how the next long the next video will be, to be honest. It might be quite short. But it more just allows me to kind of show, look, look how this part is going on. And I can show you something unique, as opposed to kind of showing you the same part. So what I'm doing here, though, which is important, um, is to get... Because I can't clip the platform, so that the, the small shack floor, onto the other one, right? 
and get, I need what I want these to do is be in exactly more or less. They don't, I don't think they are exactly, but you can't notice it. I'm exactly at the same height as the other one, and then I'm putting this, putting an upper shack floor on, and it connects to part. I think so. You can see, and I can test that's nearly the reason being is this. Um, we put a nice little technique to actually link them. It kind of looks similar to how I covered up any bends in the castle, except I used just one of the uh, different coloured upper. Um, the small shack floors. I'm really excited for the workshop DSC people. What are they called? We're getting like, I think they're called moxie lights. Moxie lighting? Little uh, weird sci-fi lighting. It's going to be fucking awesome. So you can see here, I've got this all leveled up and then I fell off. So I need to cover up the platform now. So I don't need that anymore. Wait, do I do the thing first? Oh, I do this now. Fair enough, mate. There you go, gorgeous. Lovely. Oh, it's not late. I thought it was straight. Come on, Davy. Sort out. Oh, right, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's why I did that. <laughs> because the thing is, because this is like quite a few hours worth of footage, um, and I'm way too lazy to watch this all the way through before recording the audio. That's why you see me look surprised. Hey, my logic, yeah, is one, it makes it easier for me, and two, it means that, you know, you get my genuine responses to when I see shit. Also, because, again, I've learned how to do things better as I'm going along. So I'm watching myself in a few bits being like, oh, but Davey, that, that's so tedious. See, what I'm doing right now, yeah? What I should have done was just said, do the bottom level first, yeah? Keep the top part, that's all grand. Do the bottom level first. And then I can use the foundation to actually place the parts in. But no, Davey wants to show you a sarcastic quote he hands, quicker way of doing things. <laughs> and because he likes you seeing his shame... I mean, look, look, okay, granted, I could, I did, I do believe I eventually get it, so it is completely in line, so I guess, but to be honest, it's just so much easier using the foundations, unless, of course, you don't have much space, so it looks good. Oh, by the way, I know, I know I, um, I do push my Twitter quite a lot, the reason being, right, is I've started posting kind of images and also videos of what I'm actually getting up to, but also the reason why I'm, and this was something I've been wanting to talk to for ages, <laughs> the reason why I push my Twitter quite a lot is because I'm terribly unorganised, so whenever you don't get a video, there's a reason why it's on my Twitter, yeah, but also you get to see spoilers. Okay, so we've done the flo top floor now, this is where things are getting a little bit more interesting, rather than just seeing exactly what you saw in the last episode, so... To cover up this gap, it's pretty straightforward, really. Now, annoyingly, for whatever reason, we can't just place these these floors on top of other floors. The, the clipping is absolutely retarded. So you just make a little line like this. And then you basically just snap it into place. Kind of like that. Now, I'm deliberately using a different colour. Of course, however, I do redo it because it's the wrong angle. Takes a little time. And I fall down, naturally. It is. Farming is as honest as honest work, honest work gets. Good story, buddy. Tell it again. God, this took ages. But this wall looks so good. <laughs> this is reigniting my love of Sanctuary. Like, Because I've actually finished the entire game. Look, look at that. Is it nearly perfect now? Yes, yeah, so I've actually finished the entire game. I've done all the quests or everything like that. Um, and obviously, in this playthrough, is is the one I finished the entire game. But I hadn't actually done Sanctuary yet. I mean, I hadn't done Sanctuary, so... Like, I've almost not really visited it during my entire playthrough of Fallout since the original Sanctuary you saw. And I kind of want it to maybe make it my home base again, I think. Even if it is a complete lag fest and it takes me, like, ages when I try and sleep for 24 hours. So this I wanted to quickly show you. There's actually about 10 minutes extra footage, but it was just me dicking around. Um... This is me just fixing a hole in the wall, right, where I made a mistake where I couldn't actually put the railings on the top floor. I just did that. Um, you don't need to do that, but whenever you're doing the top floor, it's just me just doing the fences over that, but when you're doing the, the top section, like when you're actually put, you're using the foundation to put in the top section of the wall, make sure that you quick save before you do it, especially if it's the part where you want to put railings on, and make sure it's slightly below the lip of the sh the upper, the, the small walkway at the top because if it's a little bit too high which what happened on that side I couldn't actually put any railings on um and I but because I couldn't 
like take that off. I was trying to fix it, but basically it was just a bit of a nightmare for fixing things. I Minutes mean, while well, I've added my stairways on. Don't worry, now that we're kind of in the uh, rhythm of things, and I've got the boring parts over with, um, I actually show you a bit more of a completed section, so we so I just wanted to, I guess, show you the process a little bit more. So this is where I learn what I can do. This is a really great idea, right? You can literally just, willy-nilly, just plop these in. And th the reason why you want to do this is because you see all those gaps underneath? This is literally just to block off the light. That's almost <laughs> deja vu to my second, my first ever tutorial, but my second video. Um, and I've done it there as well, see? Just literally just go through, and that's why it's got space in the center. Um, and that way you don't have to be as... I don't know why I'm putting those on for, I think... I think I was just experimenting with different ideas now. But yeah, that's why you don't have to be as um, tight with your foundations as you want to be. Um, but again, the railing's also a really good way for any kind of smaller sections that you just want to kind of plug open. Um, here eventually I put like a big thick, um, one of the uh, the big tyre fence in. But it's looking pretty grand. It's looking pretty cool. And uh, Vic won't shut the fuck up. What a surprise, Vic. You squeaking away. I think he's a bit pissed that I shot his head off. Right, so I'm putting the... Uh, oh, right, yeah. This is a great tip. I'm going to show you I'm doing this. Um, someone. Somewhere. I think it was on YouTube. Yes. And I can't remember your name. Sorry, but you were in the comments on one of the other videos. Um, if you put a car... Oh, actually, this is what we've done so far. Oh, look at it. It doesn't look fucking grand. But right, while you're looking at that, um, if you put carrots or any kind of vegetable down and, like, have them so they're spaced around, carrots are good because they're small, um, and then assign a robot to them, he will actually patrol, or he or she, rather, or it, um, will patrol between them. So if you put, like, a small carrot down and then have, you, you can basically, like, literally just have your, you know, sentry bots patrolling around, but they're actually farming. Yeah, isn't that fucking brilliant? I haven't got around to doing it yet, but it, it seems like it works. Well, someone tested it, it worked. So you can see with the front, um, it is looking... I like it, but I know some of you won't in terms of the the surface area I've chosen. Again, I've chosen it specifically because, one, I wanted it to look like it was made out of the same material as the fences. And also I wanted something blank. Here's another look. This is the t one I posted on Twitter, by the way. So this is a completed section of the wall. So you see, I've added guard towers in. I've added lots of the raider pole spikes. And this is pretty much how it looks. So we've got the front. Here's it from the bridge. There you've got loads of these little mini tours of what I do. Most of them I actually forget to turn off the, um... <laughs> off my HUD, though. You can see, I've added a few details to kind of give you an idea of what I mean. And I get stuck a lot, naturally. Because why not, really? But it looks grand, doesn't it? I mean, it looks cool. But you can see, like, there is definite... The fact that it's all made out of wood is going to be noticeable. I think I think it looks weirdly better from the inside than the outside. So here we go. Here's the... Me now doing a big section. So I've actually done the framework of the entire piece of wall. But you can see on this side, it's way too low. So there's no... It's really stupid me putting a, um, a wall there. Because, you know, you could literally hop over it. Um, so what I end up doing is actually building a structure instead. Now for the life of me, I can't remember how much I showed you of me building it. I think I just dick around for a little bit. Um, but the end result is I'm, I'm quite satisfied with. So initially, like this, this part is a kind of tower, except I don't put any kind of... Actually, I might. No, no, because it connects the building. I can't. Um, basically, the building this attaches to... Oh, you have to move it back one, because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's too back. <laughs> sort it out, Davey, yeah. Oh, by the way, initially I think to take off the foundation is actually a quick way of doing this. This is a very specific little technique that will only affect if you happen to be having this exact same issue. But there we go. I can just move it along one square. Yeah, this looks so good. Like, you can really see it, can't you? Um, it starts to get really epic. And like, the whole effect is absolutely awesome. This is one of the few instances where I'm using concrete as well, because I wanted the walls to actually kind of look a little bit more reinforced. Like, you know, this is, you know, this is, you know, th this is the city that will replace Diamond City, except 
um, it'll probably only have about 40 people in it, because I can't have any more <laughs> yet. Um, this is where I'm umming and ahhing. So I make this kind of weird little kind of building that you can't enter. I can't for the life remember how much I recorded. Because again, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't watch these. I know I only recorded the best bits, but I did have to chop out a load earlier. <laughs> that might have showed you way too much. Ah, it's all right. It's all good. It's part of the adventure. The later side, I know I'm a little bit more concise, so it's all grand. And I'll make a note. So this is kind of like my... This is the entrance way to this section of the wall, effectively. What are you doing, David? Oh, yeah, I remember now. God, it looks so good. It's really difficult, as I told you before with Mark Warder, having something to talk about when you're making a wall. I just, I just don't know. This is one of the reasons why I chopped the video up as well. <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> just me jibbering away. Now, I had a real nightmare with this part. Um, actually getting it to, like, sink in and connect. I eventually get it working, and it's fine. And again, there's still little gaps in between, like, the right edges. So, like, this part of the wall and the building it's next to, but we will be plugging those up. Um, I haven't done it yet, but I will. God. Yeah, I should have cut this part out. Ah, it's all good. Mainly because I scrap half of this, make it thinner, because I thought it was too boxy. But it looks like a cool, it looks like a cool so little, uh, little structure. So right, people, you've only got three minutes, then you get to see the end result, and then I promise the next videos will be a bit more highlight orientated. But yeah, that's the thing, you need to kind of see the steps involved with, you know, how this works. Because the sanctuary is probably the hardest, even though, like, these are my sanctuary walls, or the walls of sanctuary, rather, which is what I'm going to call this video, part one, um, A New Hope, um, is the... Like, most of your settlements, like, you would have done the wall by now. Like, if you look at the length of it, yeah? Like, somewhere like County Crossing, you could pretty much just wall off like this in four lengths of wall. Really straightforward. Nothing awkward like this. And it would just look absolutely grand. But, like, obviously, Sanctuary is a bit more. And same with, um, uh, Spectacle Island, which I don't think I'm actually going to wall off because it doesn't need a wall. That's right, Spectacle Island will not have a wall, so you can fuck off if you're excited. There we go. There's my finished building. It's fine. So, see what I did here? It's actually its own little kind of guardhouse, I guess. And also, it's right next to the barracks as well, so I'm going to make these two buildings connect somehow. Um, that was unintentional. I literally only just realised that as I'm recording. Fantastic. So, now, I've, see, I've done sections of it now. Here's the bottom section. As you can see, it's all very, very nice. It's about seven across. Now, I wanted to show you me putting it in. And this is to demonstrate just how much of the wall you can do. There are fiddly bits that I've deliberately shown you when I'm learning it. But, like, I would recommend, though, not doing it in a big seven square piece like I'm doing it here. Do it in half this or do it in two bits. Look at that. That is fucking perfect. It's all good. All snug. And I've done both the sides now. I think I've done the front at this point as well. I had to use that to actually do the front. This part was really awkward because I tried to do it in one big go. Um, this is when I learned that you really should do it at maximum about four pieces at a time. Uh, four pieces are good. Here we go. Here's it with the railings. So it's looking a little bit more... I'll try and show you a bit more. I've actually shown you a bit more in the later video so you can see me building sections. And here's me doing the fences. You can see it's really... <laughs> there are a few gaps, but don't worry about those. Then I close them up. And here is the tour. I know that was quite sudden. Don't worry, tomorrow's video which will be a little bit more organised, shall we say. But I'm really chuffed with how this turned out. And as I said, the next video will probably actually be about the same length as this one. If not, maybe a little bit shorter. I'll see. Um, but basically, yeah, here is the beach... Or the, I guess the beach or the, the river side of the walls of Sanctuary. As you can see, I've added the radar poles in. Um, there is a little bit of decoration on the front, but not much. Um, I've also linked the gatehouse entranceway. There will actually be a gate there at some point. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, uh, this, sorry if it's uploaded a little bit late. It was on a whim. I decided to cut this into two parts, which is how to quickly record the audio. Um, as always, any questions, leave a comment. 
um, in the comments. Um, and follow me at Twitter, at No Respawns. And I will talk to you lovely people tomorrow. Take care.